Well, hello, friends. Wolfgore here. And in this guide, we're going to be talking about how to get a Crucible guaranteed by level 20 in Seven Days to Die. The Crucible, sometimes referred to as the Holy Grail, is the linchpin to all of the endgame recipes, from the mods to the weapons to the vehicles. So it's super important that you get one so that you can produce steel much more easily rather than wrenching like street lights and whatnot. But they are super, super rare in the... I don't know, 600 hours I've put into this game, I've only ever found the recipe once and had the trader have one for sale once. So they're quite rare, but the easiest way to unlock it for sure is by coming all the way down to Advanced Engineering Rank 5, where you will unlock the Crucible guaranteed. But Advanced Engineering Rank 5 requires Intellect Rank 10, and most people don't spec into Intellect as a primary build. It's just not that good. So I managed to find a solution to this problem so you can get a Crucible guaranteed in the mid-game. So let's talk about that. So what you're going to do is you're going to assemble need. these materials oh, here. You're, you're going to need the materials to craft the actual Crucible, which is 100 forged iron, 20 mechanical parts, 1,200 small stones, 20 oil, and 900 clay soil. Uh, you're going to want to assemble all of this by level 20 ideally but you know if you don't have it all by level 20 then that's fine you can do this at level 21 22 25 whatever you're also going to want to pick up one grandpa's awesome sauce whenever you can the trader often will sell one one sugar butt or sugar butts you're going to need 32,000 dukes casino tokens and it's very possible to get this much by level 20 as long as you found you know like one treasure map and you're making sure to wrench all of the kitchen appliances you find and, you know, it, just playing efficiently, trying to make as much money as possible. It's very possible to get this much money by level 20. Additionally, you're also going to want the cigar, which improves your bartering by 10%, and the nerdy glasses, which give you a plus one to intellect. And these, in case you don't know, the grandpa's awesome sauce gives you plus 20% bartering, and the sugar butts give you an additional plus 10%. So we've got 40% from items and consumables, then if we come over to our spec, we are level 20 right now. And this is sort of just a standard example spec, something that I would do in my own game. It's uh, primarily focused on strength. In Perception, we have uh, scavenger perks to help us collect more items, uh, make more money in the early game. Typical strength stuff, you know, you've got your shotguns, your pummel pete, your master chef, sexual tyrannosaurus, uh, rule one cardio, and then intellect. This is going to be very standard. You know, you're going to want your two points in Grease Monkey so that you can get uh, a mini bike going early as early as possible. You're going to want your two points in Advanced Engineering so you can get all your crafting benches going. And this does, for the record, unlock the chemistry station. Uh, I know in my last guide somebody was asking about that, saying it unlocks what's f physician, which I believe it does say right here that this unlocks the chem station, but it is uh, Advanced Engineering also unlocks it for whatever reason. It's probably just something they need to fix. And then the final three points, and I would put these points in last, um, potentially, uh, are three points in better bartering. So that is going to give us plus 15% to bartering, and then 40% from consumables and items. We're up to 55% reduced. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over to the trader. You're going to come over to their secret stash, buy a Grandpa's Awesome Sauce. Remember me if you need medical you're going to use that. That's going to reset all of our skill points. Huh, I forgot to use my consumables. F. Let's try that again and actually use the consumables this time. There's the Grandpa's Awesome Sauce, and that does put us on a three-minute timer to get this done. You want to make sure you get your Crucible crafting before the Grandpa's Awesome Sauce runs out, or else you'll need two, and it's kind of expensive. So, we buy the first Grandpa's uh, forget an Elixir. Now, you can use a workbench, you know, at your shop if it's near enough. You can use the workbench in here if it's working, or you can just craft an extra workbench and plop it down outside. Let's go ahead and use that. We're going to come over to Intellect. Take all the way up to 10, and we're going to unlock rank 10 by having our nerdy glasses equipped. We're going to take up to level 5 in better bartering, and this is going to reset... Taking these talents is going to reset Jen's secret stash, so she will have another Grandpa's Learning Elixir available, or Forgetting Elixir available. Uh, then we're going to come down to Advanced Engineering. 
gonna take rank five. I'm gonna come over here, get our crucible crafting. Now, if you wanted, you know, you could have materials ready for two. Once it's crafting, it's crafting. It doesn't matter if you unlearn the recipe. Then we're gonna come back to Jen, come back to the secret stash, buy the second for getting elixir. One coin left over. I just need and uh, yeah, that's basically that. it. Then you go ahead and use that. And you can respec however you want at this point. All right, so we got our crucible crafted, which is great, uh, but we can actually min-max this process a little bit more. Since you know, it, you know, if you plan on do, doing this, you know that you're gonna be respecking uh, in the early level 20s. Uh, you can also get your motorcycle done at the same time and then not have to worry about putting any points back into intellect, which is really nice. So let's rewind and go back to the step where we had just bought our first forgetting elixir. So we would come over to the intellect tree and we would do essentially the same thing. I'm gonna take those five points in better bartering. I'm gonna take five points in advanced engineering, just like we did. But this time you would wanna wait three more levels. So you would have three more skill points to spend. So level 23, then you would put three points into here up to motorcycle maniac. And you would come over, you would craft your motorcycle chassis, your motorcycle handlebars, along with your crucible all at the same time. Then you would just run back to Jen, buy your second forget an elixir, and uh, reset. And then you can actually save yourself 10 skill points because you don't have to put any points into intellect anymore. So that saves you three points right there. You get your three points back that you had in better bartering your two points back in advanced engineering and the two points you had in Grease Monkey, plus the additional points you would have had to spend to get up to Motorcycle Maniac. So you're actually saving yourself like 13 skill points, which you're now to free free to spend in the strength tree or you know whatever tree you wanna spend it in because the intellect tree is just kind of there for the recipes, let's be honest. And for those who are newer to the game who may be wondering, well, how am I supposed to craft a motorcycle without a crucible? because I need steel to craft the motorcycle and the crucible is how I make steel. These types of street lights right here are the easiest way to get steel without having a crucible. See, we just got one there. And you could get up to like three sometimes. Uh, I'd say one is about the average. Sometimes you'll get none, but you can get more. So, you know, uh, head over to like Dyersville over, you know, to the Northeast. If you're playing on Navis Gain, Dyersville is right up here. There's there's tons of those streetlights up there. Um, there's plenty of steel, plenty enough to make a motorcycle. So uh, I think that's gonna do it for this guide video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please smash that like button. It really does help the channel grow and help to spread my content. And if you'd like to subscribe for more guides, I will be covering other games other than Seven Days to Die in the future, but definitely expect more Seven Days to Die content. Uh, in the immediate future. So thank you all so much for watching. I love your faces and I'll see you here next time. Bye.